Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be making our final video using the little, a little bit festive specialty designer series paper, along with the joyful images and joyful sayings ephemera packs, okay? And I say that, and I also used some other designer series paper. I think it's the Sentimental Christmas. So before we get started on our projects, of course, we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. We're going to start with the Field with Joy Paper Pumpkin Kit for November. This kit is going to make eight projects and comes with the Poppy Parade Stampin' Spot. You can get the Merry Tags and More Dyes add-on for $12. That's going to coordinate with October, November, and December Paper Pumpkin Kits. And I do have a link in the description box below for you to sign up for the Paper Pumpkin. Next, we have our up to 30% off on all kits from our kits collection. That does not include Paper Pumpkin or the scrapbooking kits, but all the kit collections are on sale up to 30% off until August 31st, okay? Next, we have our starter kit special where we're adding $30 to your starter kit. So what that means is when you sign up to become a demonstrator between October 1st and 31st of 2024, you'll get $155 worth of product in your starter kit for just $99 plus tax. Your starter kit also includes free business supplies like a paper pumpkin kit and free shipping. Okay, so if you want to join Stamp It Up or you're going to spend $99 on product, this is going to be your best deal. You're going to get $56 for free in your starter kit with this deal. You won't have to pay shipping and you don't have to do anything else. You can just sign up for the discount or you can, you know, run a business. It's all up to you. Next, we have our October host code. This is the code I would like for you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, don't use this code because you're going to qualify for Stampin' Rewards and Stampin' Rewards equals free product from Stamp It Up. And I don't want you to miss out on any of your freebies, okay? That is all of our buzzworthy business. Let's get started. So I'm going to start by showing you a card I made ahead of time. This card is made using the Little Bit Festive Stamp um, Designer Series paper. This panel came straight out of the Designer Series paper because it does have some sheets of like die cuts or ephemera. Tis the season, that came from the Joyful Sayings ephemera pack. And I put that on some, looks like cherry cobbler or real red. I can't, can't really tell, <laughs> but very simple, very cute. So we're gonna start by making um, a card using Shaded Spruce card base that is Five and a half by eight and a half score to four and a quarter. I have a piece of three fourths by three and a half inch designer series paper. Just another strip of um, shaded spruce there. So we're going to get some designer series paper. This is from, ooh, this is from Take a, Take a Bow designer series paper pack. And we're going to um, adhere this down. This is four and a quarter by five i don't think i'm supposed to be adhering this let me hold on for a minute <laughs> so i have a piece here of granny apple green that is five and a quarter by two and a half and i've run that through the um what is it called exposed brick embossing folder and i'm going to adhere this to our designer series paper am i doing this right I think you guys like I told you before I designed I said 20 but it was about 25 cards and then I had to wait to re record the videos so I kind of forgot what my designs are supposed to look like <laughs> so we're just gonna put this right here in the center well close to the center more towards the bottom of our designer series paper piece then here's a piece of uh, ephemera that came from our designer series paper pack the little bit festive and we're going to add this to our um card layers here come on i've been trying to use this stamp and seal so i'm trying to get a little better at it so we're going to put this closer to the bottom of our granny apple green piece, but I'm gonna to try to get it straight across. 
Okay, just like that. Okay, now I have to get out some ribbon. We are gonna be using a piece of the satin and sheer ribbon and this is in shaded spruce. So we're gonna go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of this now, all around. And we're gonna add our ribbon right at the bottom here. Ooh. Trying to see, make sure I got it even. Okay, now I'm just gonna put a little bit more adhesive over that ribbon because I wanna make sure it, it sticks down to our card base. We're gonna put this on here like that. And then and then I have my little um, ephemera pieces and we're gonna go ahead and remove the backings from everything. Okay, so I removed the backings from all of the dimensionals on the images and I'm going to place them on here in such a way like this put our sentiment right there then I have a little piece of the ribbon and we're going to just tie it tie it on right here in a little knot ooh that is a little piece I can grip that little end there <laughs> But we're just going to put that in a knot and a knot right here and get my scissors and kind of trim that up. Okay, so that is that card done. Isn't that cute? Nice and festive. Christmas wishes. All right, that is our first card that we made. So let's move on because we have four more to do. Ooh, I moved my bow. Next up, we have some pretty peacock, eight and a half by five and a half, squared up four and a quarter. This is a piece of the Sentimental Christmas Designer Series paper. And we're gonna go ahead and add this on to our card base. Come on. You're gonna work for me one day. I'm gonna get a hang of this. <laughs> I love this piece of Designer Series paper all the little stars on it so we have a beautiful reef here with the blues and greens oh my goodness we're gonna pop this down flat so we're just gonna pop this about right there and I have a little bow I want to put on there I went ahead and put dimensionals on the back already we just take those backings off, put that right at the top. Isn't that so cute? Then I have some gifts, a bunch of gifts here stacked up together that we're gonna pop up with the dimensionals after I get the backings off. And we're gonna put those down here like that. Then we have our sentiment. And it says, Holiday wishes, and we're just going to pop that on right there, like that, and our card is done. Isn't that cute? I love all the sparkle, the gold um, little foiling on there is beautiful. Okay, let's keep moving. I have another reef card here. So this one is using Granny Apple Green, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, five by three and three fourths, three and a half by four and three fourths, three fourths by three and three fourths <laughs> for the designer series paper that is sentimental Christmas. And then we have Poppy Parade here. And that is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And our um, designer series paper is four by five and a quarter. And we're gonna adhere those together. I was getting happy. I was gonna say, oh look, it worked the entire way through. <laughs> Come on. Let 
that's not quite even, but we'll make it work. Come on. The trick is to not lift it up, I guess. So we'll get this put on here. Let's do a better job of making this one even. Try anyway. Oh gosh, no. This is one thing I do like about the stamp and seal it. You can pull it up a lot easier. Okay, so now I have a wreath here that I have popped up on some dimensionals. Okay, so we're gonna set our wreath right on the middle here, just like that. And I have a little bow. We're gonna put some stamp and seal on that. Come on, stamp and seal, work for me. I'm trying to play nice. I know you're upset I didn't give you equal play with the, like the liquid glue. <laughs> We're gonna put this oop, right on the top of our wreath here, like that. Then I have our sentiment here, it's popped up on dimensionals only in the middle because we're gonna put some stamp and seal on the edges here because we want this to stick down to our wreath. Come on, I need a little bit right there, okay. So we're gonna put this right in the middle and that's it. Isn't that cute? I love these colors, that granny apple green. And it says, wishing you a wonderful Christmas season. Let's move on to the next card. And this one is a thick basic white base, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And the measurements are the same for the inside. This is the little bit festive designer series paper that we're gonna be using. I did good on that one. Let's see. Gonna center that, that is four by five and a quarter. Then I have a piece of the ephemera and we're gonna take all these backings off and I'll be back. Okay, so we have our tree line here and I wanna put this all the way to the edge of our designer series paper. And it's, again, it's popped up on dimensionals. Then I have a little truck here that's carrying a Christmas tree and it has some dimensionals, but we're gonna put some stamp and seal over certain portions of it because we want to put this right to the edge of our designer series paper on this side. Oop, and it's gonna go right up to here like that. Then we have two little trees that we're gonna lay flat on our card using the stamp and seal. Let's put some on both these little trees, come on. I really am trying here. So we wanna put slide this one. Oh my goodness, I've already popped it down. I need this to stay up. <laughs> Cause I wanna put this tree right there. And I'm gonna put this one over here. Again, I designed these cards a while ago and I forget the things that I need to do. Okay, so now all we have left is our sentiment and I have gone ahead and put that on dimensionals and it says, Happy Christmas. And we're just gonna put that right here, just like that. Isn't that cute? Yay, I love it. I love the dimension of the trees too. Okay, our last card. This one also has a card base of basic white thick and it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter um it looks like real red ephemera in here to help decorate the inside along with some designer series paper that paper looks like the um it came from the take a bowl designer series paper pack so i have some poppy parade or real red no real red and garden green Granny Apple Green that I've ran through the exposed brick embossing folder. Um, 
well, let me see what size this is. This is four and a quarter, no, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So this is five and a quarter by four. And we're gonna layer those two together. Layer those two together. Why do I keep getting these so crooked? Did I cut my paper crooked? Okay. Paper is straight. Now let's adhere this down to our card base. like that so then I have another piece from the design uh, take a bowl designer series paper that I've cut out using the spotlight on nature dies and we're gonna layer this down flat oh we're gonna put this right here in the middle of our card Okay, then I have all of my ephemera elements and I'm going to get them prepared and I'll be back. Okay, so I have all of my elements together and I'm going to pop this on right here. That's on dimensionals. This one is going down flat. This is up on dimensionals. We want it right there. Then we have a little holly leaf, and we're just going to add that in right there, just like that. And that's it. Isn't that cute? Nice and simple. Very cute. So let's bring out all the cards again. So these are the ones that we made in the video. And this is the one I showed you I made ahead of time. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I would like to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.